Hey, what's up guys? I'm Anush from AndroidRoots.com and today we're taking a look at the official build of CyanogenMod 12 for the Nexus 6. And as always, you can go and download this RAM for the Nexus 6 using the link in the video description. Uh, so right away, we'll go ahead and go into settings about phone and I can show you that we are actually running a little bit of proof right there signage my version 12 and our version 5.0.2 which is really nice thumbs up to them as we're running on the latest Android version right there 5.0.2 awesome awesome uh, now we can go ahead and take a look at some of the features that CyanogenMod does offer. So we can go into status bar right here. Brightness control, we can go and control the brightness using the status bar by sliding our finger back and forth. Quick pull down using the right side, we can pull down all the way to get to our toggles right there. Show notification, notification count, I don't have any notifications so I can't really show you that. Um, I actually like this feature, show weather. So if you go and slide down all the way, you can, actually, uh, you can actually see your weather right there. So it says Mundelein 11 degrees Fahrenheit and it says fair for the weather outside. That's actually really nice. Uh, I like that feature. It's actually really convenient. Uh, also, we have battery style right here. So right now I set it to percentage or text actually. So it says 71%. It says, uh, I can change it to circle. Now it shows a circle up there. I can do uh, icon portrait or icon landscape, icon portrait. So you have all these options for the battery icon right there. So it's a nice touch. So it's pretty much it for there. We can also go to buttons. I've been trying this out earlier and I can't get some of these features to work. I restarted my phone and it still doesn't work for whatever reason. Um, so one of these features I like is left-handed mode. So if you go and enable this and put your phone in landscape mode, you can actually go ahead and get the navigations on your left side. Uh, if you're left-handed or just prefer on your left side, you can go and do that. Um, that's a nice feature. Um, also end call using the power button right there so you can use the power button to end the call answer call is uh, you can do the home button and this is where I couldn't get it to work uh, it says long press action launch camera so for home button I long press it and nothing happens this goes to the home button and also if I uh, do double tap action it doesn't launch the camera um, I restarted my phone all that so it looks like those features are not working just yet um, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong as it looks pretty basic. Um, also for the menu button, it doesn't work either. So I can do um, short press. Um, actually, short press does work. So short press is going to open the menu, of course. Or yeah, it should. Or it actually, it should, uh, do recent app. So if I short press it, it actually just opens the recent app. So it looks like those features are not working as of yet. Um, you can go and use the volume buttons to wake up the device. So I can use the volume button and it'll actually wake it up. So that's nice if you don't want to reach a little bit further to the power button or if you just can't tell the difference between the power buttons. Let's go and change the brightness again. There we go. It's a little better. Um, also playback control and that's pretty much it for buttons right there. It's not too complicated. Pretty darn basic. And I've seen a lot of those features in other custom ROMs as well. Um, where we get a little bit more interesting is we have system profiles right here. So you can go ahead and change your profiles for home, night, silent, work automobile and you can go and change the settings for each of these so like for home I can say what connections are overrided and all that so volume controls for alarm and all that so it's a nice feature right there as when I go to sleep I can just go ahead and select night and make sure the only volume that is enabled is my alarm volume and I'm good to go so that's all there is also we have privacy right here so you can go ahead and do a blacklist of what incoming calls for phone numbers and messages you get right there so that's nice. Actually, I really need that as I've been getting a lot of spam calls lately. So it's a nice feature right there. Um, and that's pretty much it for the settings part. We can go ahead and take a look at the wallpapers that are also included. So we can go and select wallpapers. Go and slide all the way down to CM wallpapers. And these are the wallpapers that are also included within CM12 ROM. You can see they're pretty nice. I like this one particularly as it has a nice color contrast. Um, you, there you go. You can see it better now. And as you can see, there are a bunch of these. There's tons of them. So they keep going. There's some nature ones too as well. So those are the wallpapers. We can go and see if there's any new applications. Um, actually, yes, you do. You actually get audio FX right here. So you can go and change your audio for speaker. Yes, I believe uh, wireless head headphones should, yeah, headset right there too. Um, so you can go and change it to optimize it for your preference right there. And that, and you also have music, a new music application as well. Um, you also get the play music included too. I personally prefer the play music, but you have another option as well. Um, but that is pretty much it, guys. That is Synergy Mod 12 official build for your Nexus 6. 
Um, and as always, they're going to be including more features later down the road, but these are all the features they have included in their first build, which is actually pretty impressive. And this ROM is actually pretty darn stable, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data, calling, all those basic need, you know, must need features are actually working. Um, so you can actually go and try this as a daily driver if you want to on your own Nexus 6. And as always, you can go ahead and pick up this ROM using the download link in the video description. And if you guys did enjoy this pretty darn quick ROM review for Synergy Mod ROM, uh, go ahead and like this video in the bottom hand corner right there and hit that subscribe button while you're at it as I do appreciate all the support you guys do give me. And don't forget to share this video on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. You can share button down below as well. Until next time, peace.